Okay, I thought we'd start early tonight because uh, I've got no idea if any of this is going to work. So, um, hello. <laughs> I'll just check in we're getting sound. Uh, bear with me. I am broadcasting sound, so that's good. And there's a picture there, so I'm broadcasting that. And I've got 104 people watching me, so that's working. Uh, wow. And the chair does need lube again, Berg this. I haven't, um, I've just finished what I was doing about five minutes before the stream was started. Basically, if you remember, I was doing that light ring for the, um, uh, the ET, for those wires. Well, I took all of that apart, got rid of the wires, <laughs> and just cut the LEDs so they're about that big. So we haven't got that great big vein of wires going through the centre now. But, uh, and they hear me and see me. Well, that's good, because guess what? I'm on, uh... I'm on, uh, oh look, hello Lou, how's it going? Look, I'll put Lou's thing up there. I'm on the uh, chat tonight, which means I can highlight things. So, uh, hopefully, there we go. Lou Damaso says hello. So that's all good, isn't it? Things are working, finally. Perhaps that's what I should do. Perhaps I should leave it to the last minute when I do these live streams and then uh, not worry about it until I go into it. Seriously, my, my soldering iron's still hot cooling down and I burnt myself a couple of times as well. But the, uh, the light ring's much better. It's really light now as well. So uh, I've just got to solder in another 32 LEDs tomorrow. And we're, we're good to go. So very good. Um, let's see what else we can do on this. So we can hide the message there. I can say that if you haven't followed me on Twitter at the moment, then follow my link on Twitter. That's good, isn't it? Oh, I like that. If you want to check out Phil's channel over on Spruverse and see what he's been doing with his Yay Monsters ET, look at that. God, I am set up. This is what should have happened last Thursday. It was all set up to go, but uh, it didn't happen. And Mrs. World of Wayne's obviously doing Doll's House bits and God knows what other crafting she's been doing. So uh, there's Mrs. World of Wayne's link on Instagram. Wow, I'm so professional tonight. I'm so professional. I'm not even on the beer tonight. Look, I'm on the, I'm on the milk tonight. Mainly on account of... Um, I, I don't know if it's bad for you, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's bad that... Um, when you're soldering and occasionally you get the smoke come up from the solder and I'm breathing that in, is that bad for you? Am I going to get like some sort of lung condition? <laughs> so if I'm coughing tonight, that's why, because uh, <coughs> I feel a bit, you know, congested from all that um, electric smoke that I've been uh, uh, <laughs> doing. <laughs> um, tonight we're going to be building the Iron Man number two, looking like that. And it's going to be the same sort of deal that we did um normally i'm not going to do an introduction tonight though i'm going to do that separately i'll do the build on camera and i've got all my cameras recording at the moment so i'll do the build on camera and then tomorrow we're going to be having this edited version of the iron man going out in the morning and the reason for that is because i've been so busy you notice there wasn't a video up on friday and there wasn't really a video up today apart from the one that we're doing now well the reason for that there is a reason. I will catch up with messages in a minute. The uh, the reason for that is because the um, I've been building a lot of the Agora Models kits that have come through. So as you can see there, the Shelby Super Snake is now completed. Oh, thank you, Howard. That's just popped up there. Put this in the swear jar. Have, have I been swearing again? <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Howard. Dash Riptide. Um, you've thrown me off. Why do you do that? Um, Oh yeah, so the Shelby, Shelby Super Snake is completed, and the video for that, hopefully, will be out, mm, might be tomorrow. It might be tomorrow, if not Thursday. So that's where that is. So that's taken like a day to film that. Uh, it went together really well, actually, the last one. We've got the uh, Shelby Cobra. Hopefully, as long as... Okay, see, I only put the videos up when I know that Agora Models have sent them out to you. I did mention that to my patrons because there's nothing worse than me having uh, me building the videos and you're all frustrated because you haven't had your delivery yet. So as soon as Liam lets me know that all of your deliveries are coming out, then that's when the videos will go up, which is why the Super Snake video is already on the channel, but it's unlisted at the moment, just waiting to go. Uh, so we've got the Cobra, hopefully Thursday or Friday. And what I was working on all day today, which has gave me backache, and I'll tell you what, I'm probably gonna have a big headache tonight, but uh, I've done pack one of the Bismarck. So I've been doing the Bismarck again, and Phoebe's trying to get in the room. So um, that was uh, quite a walk down memory lane, actually. But uh, I, I've, it's, it's a lot easier, I find it, the second time round than uh, when the first time round. I did make a couple of mistakes, though, and you'll see that in the video when that goes live. Because I leave my mistakes in, because if I've made those mistakes, chances are you're gonna someone's out there. I'm not going to say you, because I'm uh, pinpointing on someone, but someone 
like me, <laughs> is going to make those mistakes as well. Uh, Mrs. Wilder Wayne, can you sort the dog out? She can't come in yet, and she's trying to break the door down. <laughs> uh, that's just to let you know I'm alive, Lou. What, is that that smoke? Uh, <laughs> what's this? Renosian. Oh, my God, Wayne is sober and on form. Don't panic. I wouldn't say I'm on form. I'm, I'm all over the place at the moment. And we've got to do this usual. It's been suggested to me, Christian. Hello, Christian from Grantham. That I create a jingle just at the start of the stream. That's like, hello, Gary Whitfield. Thank you, Koza Gary. Thank you very much. I'm just I like how it just pops up on the screen there. The uh, <laughs> Every time someone does that, I'm just thrown out. What was I talking about? I was talking about uh, Christian from Grantham and the Jingle. Now, the reason why we didn't have a countdown today is I created a brand new countdown. And uh, I, can I show it yet? I could show you a little bit of it, but I can't show you too much. Whoops. Uh, I can't show you too much because the... Um, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go to the studio, mate. One second. Uh, because I'll, I'll get copyright striked. I did put it on the channel. Whoops. I did put it on the channel just to check if I was going to get copyright striked. Because you can do that. And I would get copyright striked. But uh, if I show you about three seconds of it, I'm sure we're going to be okay. So the reason that we didn't have the countdown on was uh, because of this. I think that's enough. And I was going to have like a guess the song from a film and I was going to use MIDI files because I figured that, you know, the, the, the intelligent algorithm is not going to identify computer noise. But yeah, it did. So uh, that one was Forrest Gump. But uh, didn't happen. So I'm going to have to rethink that. It would have been good. But I like that. I think I'll just take the guess the song out and put a, an interesting quote for you to guess instead for those five minutes on the countdown. So hello, Groves over on Twitter. I'm glad you uh, text me on Twitter because it gives me a chance to make sure it works here. Hi, Wayne from Spain. Love your ET ship. And how is Esther now? Esther's good. She's downstairs. And um, she's been doing two cross stitches. And two of the... Perhaps she'll put it in chat. She's been building these miniature little diorama things. I don't know what they are, but I've seen them all over the place. And she's on her second one now. The Ian Centre. So, all good. <laughs> um... I, I've missed some chat. I apologise for that. I'm just trying to get used to the chat on this as well. The chat's slightly different. Now I can highlight things. Um, I don't know how long tonight's thing's going to take. Uh, let's just check the camera works. That might be the best thing. Uh, go back to studio mode. Yep, you can see the camera there. Probably needs to go down just a touch. You don't want to be seeing my belly. Uh, but that is what we're doing tonight. We're going to be building the Iron Man boot. And I'm hoping it takes one battery. Because... Uh, I used two batteries in the head where I've been told I was supposed to only use one. But uh, we will have to see. We will have to see. Uh, any giveaways tonight? Uh, not tonight, RC. No, I'm going to try and get it sorted out for Thursday again. Um, I was all ready to go last Thursday with the um, Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger, which is down here still. Look, it's right here. was ready for the stream last week. But unfortunately... Uh, I couldn't stream properly because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so that's why that's had to put it on hold. Uh, and hello, Down Under. Is it still ragingly hot in Australia at the moment? Um, Bexag, is the, is the Ecto-1 coming to Australia? I believe it is. I think Vince still said that it's, uh, it is coming to Australia now. But no, Bexac, I know I can anticipate your next question. It's not going to be in the news agents. You're going to have to sub to that one, unfortunately. So, all fun. <laughs> um, not had Iron Man 1 yet. I understand there's lots of delays. You know what? I haven't received my X-Wing for, God, two months now. Haven't received that. Haven't seen the, um, my Ecto-1. I'm sure that was, should have been Drew now. Uh, Drew now? I'm sure that should have been here now. But I'm... Um, I'm in a conference call with Eagle Moss on Friday. So hopefully I'll find out what's going on. And uh, I might be able to let you know when we're getting them. But that's Friday from 2 o'clock. So. Uh, oh, uh, J Jason Harrop, your subscription came through for the Eleanor build today. You know what, Jason? I had my notification for delivery for the Eleanor build about six days ago. And nothing's come through yet. And I, I do know that there's lots of things that have been held up. Do you remember I said that I posted a Christmas card off to my brother on December 9th? And even after Christmas, he hadn't got it. 
Well, he's received it now, and there was a news article today saying that uh, post offices in certain areas, Basildon, South Woodford was one, um, they're not posting. There's about six, there's about half a million letters still to post. So uh, there's a lot of things that are being caught up by, uh, I think, at the moment. Uh, uh, Wayne, when is the USS Enterprise coming? I've had mixed messages. Peter, it's definitely February, March. Definitely, 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 definitely. You got to remember, if you ask them at the customer service, the customer service is different from the head office, and they just have generic response answers. So uh, don't rely on that. Um, if you want to know when it's coming out, the best way to do is just tweet Eagle Moss or tweet Ben. Is it Ben Robert and, and Kevin? Are you in here? <laughs> the Nexus. Who's, who's your contacts that you tweet about all the retro stuff? Chris Thompson's another one. They'll let you know when that's coming out. Uh, <laughs> Andy says the jingle's an excellent idea. I don't, I don't know how it would go though, Andy. Hi, Christian from Grantham. Please don't have a tantrum. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> You know what? Perhaps I'm worse on the milk. Perhaps I should go back to the beer. <laughs> um, Dash Riptide. Well, Wayne, so exactly how many stages was the first pack? Eight or twelve? It's eight stages, um, Howard. Um, th th it took me three hours, though. Because <laughs> remember, I'm building the Arado plane in that. We're doing the gears for the anchor in that. We're doing the um, a lot of little tiny details, actually. But uh, it did take quite a while and if you can imagine if it took that long to film how long the editing's taken it's taken all day the editing and because i really wanted to get on with that light ring today um i've had no time to do anything i've hardly seen mrs world away today but she's been doing her own thing um james kirk i like the name wait if you have a spare computer fan make a stand for it add power to it and put it next to where you're soldering so it either sucks or blows the soldering smoke away so you don't breathe it in i'd normally do it in the workshop but it's cold out there at the moment and i haven't had the rate oh i haven't had the radiator on or have i left it on now i'm not sure i don't have jim's in a chat but i'm printing something in the uh in the workshop if i don't keep it heated in there it's like minus two and even pla <laughs> at that temperature even pla prints for, uh, fail so we don't want that so hello gunny121 how's it going i know you've um, sent me an email i haven't had a chance to read it yet bruce so uh, i'll have a look at that when i can um uh blah, 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 blah. have you covered the um, uh the the ecto now yes david palmer look it's covered and that's because colin walker has sent me uh kind of like a dust sheet for it so uh, I'm going to do a little mod for it that Mike Lane sent me for the back of the seats, but I'm going to talk about this one as well, Colin Walker. Because if you remember, if you've got the DeLorean, uh, they sent us a dust sheet for it right at the very end, when really you wanted it right at the beginning. Well, uh, it's the same with the Ecto-1 at the moment. So at the moment, I've covered it just to see how it fits. I probably won't be using it like that because obviously we like to see everything on the shelves there. So, uh, But uh, that was done by Colin Walker who sent me that um andrew james hi wayne thinking of starting my own youtube channel have you got any advice yes make sure you've got good sound which mine's touch and go at the moment most important thing is good lighting good lighting you can have the worst webcam in the world but if you've got good lighting it'll make it look good uh, if i turn these lights out i'll be all grainy and stuff and um try to try to be exciting is that right try to be animated don't be over the top you know influencer animated <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I've got to that stage yet. Wow, we got a screwdriver! Look at it! Look at the shaft on it, and it's green. <laughs> yeah, I can't be like that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I I've had too much coffee today. That's what I think. <laughs> oh, oh dear, I'm already behind on chat. I'm so sorry. Um, Wayne, any railway themes in the pipeline? You know what, John Cook? Last last year. I was building one, um, but at the moment, I've just got too much on, far too much on this year. Um, but there you go. There you go. Could you guess? You could guess the film quote. I think that's what I'm going to do, Gary. So it will have to be obscure, though. I mean, the first one I was going to do was, um, uh, I don't know if anyone knows the film, but the first quote I was going to do, because that already passed my mind, was um, the reason so many drunk drivers have accidents is because they don't learn to drive drunk. Does anyone know what film that's from? <laughs> it's 
If you do, then my hat goes off to you because it's a very obscure film. To me, anyway. Uh, wow, Twitch is doing well. It's 15, 15 seconds ahead of my LGTV YouTube app. I know that Twitch is a lot quicker than YouTube normally. So I'll have to see uh, how that goes. Good evening, Andy Nash. How's it going? And Daniel Goldman. How's it going, Daniel? I've just seen you in chat there. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it won't go as swimmingly as the helmet. <laughs> Hi Alex, how's it going? I was very interested. Alex has uh, posted up some social media that he's building Johnny Five. You have to let me know more because that's as far as I know, Alex. <laughs> I don't know anything else apart from your uh, social media posts. Um, add you, add you to the giveaway. To haven't even launched it yet, Craig. <laughs> I can't add you to something that isn't running yet. Oh, well, don't worry. I'll let you know as soon as it comes on. I'll let you all know. And, and all you'll have to do is, uh, let me think, for the Dodge Charger, I think all you had to do was visit the Fan Home Facebook page. Um, but you have to do something. If you don't do something, like, I don't know, like Twitter or follow this post or something like that, then it's considered a lottery. It's considered, a, um, it, well, a lottery, which is banned in a lot of countries. So you, you have to, it has to be a skill sort of competition sort of thing. I don't know. It's uh, That's why I run it on Gleam, because there's so many terms and conditions that you have to comply with, with YouTube and with uh, Patreon and whatever other platform I'm running it on. But Gleam, take take care of that all for you. So uh, that's good. Uh, hi, a rattling ghost. How's it going down in South Africa? See, I do remember these things. You'd think I'd have post-it notes on here to remember all your names, but I do... I would like to say my short-term memory is good, but yeah, it's terrible. It's my long-term memory that's good. <laughs> uh, there'll be a shipment later this week, then next week. Is that what that payment was for, Ian, that came out today for you? But uh, Daniel's still waiting for your Spitfire delivery. Um, me too. I think I've got another four to come, and at the same time that comes, uh, we normally have... Not the Terminator. I normally have some Bismarcks. As a matter of fact, I've got pack nine of the Agora Terminator there. That's not going to come out for a couple of weeks. But uh, when I do that pack nine, it means that uh, the Agora Models Terminator, for me, is going to be ahead of the Hashit one. Because I was already a month behind on the Hashit ones anyway. So, uh, there you go. But yeah, you're waiting for deliveries for the X-Wing. I don't know what's happening with the X-Wing. I don't know what's happening with the Agostinian model space at the moment. They're the only company that I know that can run a sale and make sure everything's out of stock before the sale starts. Our oh, PC World used to do that, actually, thinking about it. <laughs> uh, Sonderax, you've, you haven't received Ecto since November. There's been a lot of issues in America. I mean, I think issue 13 was the one that everyone was waiting for that hasn't come through. Um, but as I said, I do have a chance to chat with someone from Eagle Moss on Friday, so uh, you never know. They might actually brief me and get in first, but we'll see. But um, they're really good for explaining things when you actually get in touch with the the, the people in the company. If you know, the marketing department, the uh, uh, some of the some of the designers and stuff like that. But uh, it would be good if they had a, a press office kind of thing, you know, that works. <laughs> uh, where are we? Uh, Alex McDonald's, Egan must have had a warehouse change, expecting delays of 10 days for all part works and collections. I wasn't aware of that, Alex, I have to say. But uh, I do like how I can highlight all the chat now. It's great. And uh, Berg, there's no word on Eleanor yet. Uh, as soon as it comes on the channel, then I'm guessing everyone's probably going to receive it at the same time, Berg, this. But uh, I have, I'm collaborating with the Eleanor. So if I haven't received it yet, then I don't think anyone else is. But uh, we'll see. Uh, the next Bismarck's probably going to be out next week, Nigel, from Agora. If that's what you're after. If you're a uh, first Bismarck, sorry. So, uh, Gary Whitfield. Love this build, but going to have to wait until my other build is finished. Too much left at the end of the month. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> oh. Does anyone know about the Hogwarts Express? I've heard mixed messages from that, but if they're going to release it, it ain't going to be any time soon. I don't think. But uh, we'll have to see. There's going to be a lot of things are on hold at the moment because this, I'm not going to go into it. The COVID situation is just getting worse in the in the UK at the moment. I can't really vouch for over in the US, but uh, or France or Holland or South Africa or where is everyone from? 
uh, Guernsey. Uh, <laughs> I'm just going to name everyone. <laughs> Gully, um, wait, did you get my email? Yeah, I did say that earlier, but I'm way behind on chat. As a matter of fact, 20.07. Oh my God, I'm 10 minutes behind on chat. You've got to be kidding me. Gavin Fry. Thank you. Hello, Gavin. How's it going? X, X Wing delayed. Email Syed extra gift to subscribers to compensate. Wow. So that tells me, Gavin, that that was it's delayed because of something that was in their hands, not out of their hands. So interesting. But then right straight underneath, Philip saying that uh, 61 to 65 ship but not re yet received. Be interesting to see when that comes through. Uh, Red City's been waiting for Pack 24, the R2D2. Been waiting for four months. Rang I was told the end of January, maybe. God. By that time, Fan Home would have started the release again because uh, that that is coming. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's taking the piss. By the way, it's like those floor plans. I mean, floor plans. I, I didn't tell you about my uh, my other job, Howard, as a as a spy. So I'm always looking at floor plans and blueprints. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> First class letter from Boris took five days. Would you like to see? A NASA build, the Saturn V shuttle or something. Yes, I've already said I'd like to do the shuttle. Um, but the one that was mounted to the, the Boeing rather than on the fuel pods. Um, and a Saturn V would be good. But I do believe there's already been a model of the Saturn V. A really big one as well. But I haven't got a clue who released it. But uh, I've seen a couple of people with that. So, everyone's had emails from uh, Eagle Boss. Saying about a new warehouse. I, I wasn't aware of that. I don't get I don't get any emails from Eagle Moss. You think I would? Nothing in my spam folder. I've checked. Uh, how many articles does the Ecto One have? Well, it's 141 issues, and if you're getting four issues each pack, then divide that by 141. I haven't got a calculator on me, but uh, 35. I'm guessing. Is that about right? 35 packs. Does that sound right? I, I don't know. Um, Eagle Moss already took the money out of my account for the Enterprise. Oh. Ah. So, Ian, is, is that... Have you ordered the Enterprise, Ian? I'm, I'm so confused now. I, I don't know what's... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Jerry. The problem is, uh, I, I'm, a lot of people have been saying this, Jerry, is that from the, the problem with... Eagle Moss at the moment is they're taking money out and people are, are not expecting it because it's coming out at different times of the month when it should do and it, it can be frustrating because if you haven't got your money if you haven't got the money in your bank account and you miss the payment chances are you're going to miss that processing run so you'll be a month behind um, and I'm sure a lot of people will fall into that boat but uh, has anyone had notifications of the zero fight I haven't had anything I haven't had anything yet Daniel either from uh, Agora yet, so I don't know when when that's going to start. Haven't got a clue. <laughs> uh, oh, and got my next notification on the Ecto One. Can't wait to get my Mike Lane's carpets for the rear deck jump seat as well. Ooh, I haven't had any notifications about my Ecto One. But what what one are you waiting for, Gary? Because you were behind as well. I'm up to issue sixty two. Issue sixty two. Stage sixty two. So. Oh God. <laughs> Wait, where am I so doing? Solar fumes not good for you. Well, you've told me now, Peter. <laughs> I've probably just taken a few days off my life. But uh, I would show you, but uh, I think I, I put I put it on uh, Facebook the last one, and I, it, it needed a flashing a flashing warning. <laughs> oh, Gregory, look at that! Happy Tuesday, Wayne. Go Rams! Las Vegas having such with Wayne. Well, the Rams finally beat the Seahawks on Sunday, even though. Our quarterback, our standing quarterback, lasted like seconds in the first quarter. So, uh, unfortunately, we're facing the Green Bay Packers uh, in on Saturday. I can't see them getting through that, but you never know. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going to try and get the, to the chat before I can just uh, uh, start on the, the Iron Man. Because I haven't spoken to you since Thursday, so... Hi, Wayne, could you double-check with Eagle Moss about the free gifts for the Enterprise D and whether we get the binder and screw box in the first delivery... As others, others would presumably get it. I'll have to check that, Adam. I haven't got a clue at the moment. So it's going to be a little bit harder for me for the Enterprise. Because um, uh, I burnt some bridges <laughs> with the Enterprise D, I think. So 
But uh, I am doing it, but uh, I don't know how much input I'm going to get from Eagle Moss. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, uh, ch Chili Chongos. <laughs> it's, it's a, that's a great knife. Do you plan on painting or darkening the vents on the DeLorean to make them more accurate? No. I'm not going anywhere near that DeLorean now. What it is, it is. Because I was fed up with that build and I still am fed up with tinkering with it. The only thing I've done in the last like two years is change the train tyres back to the normal tyres and that's where it's going to stay now. So. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wayne, don't forget after you finish the Enterprise D, I've got my shelf waiting for it. <laughs> you might do, James, because Mrs. Welder Wayne's not letting me put it anywhere. Where am I supposed to put another Bismarck? I was meant to take it to Germany, but seeing as, you know, we can't even leave Corby at the moment, I don't think it's going anywhere. So, uh, there you go. Um, e. Mitch 8, hi Wayne from East Texas, Kilgore. Your Back to the Future videos are great. Couldn't have done it without you getting started on Ecto-1 and waiting for the Enterprise D. E. Mitch, it does make me laugh looking back at those Back to the Future videos at how young I look when I first started it to how grey and dishevelled I look come issue 129. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I noticed that about all the channels. So you know what model has been the most stressful to build because you check me out the first video of that channel and then check me out on the end of it and see the difference. <laughs> oh, we got a 3D printing question. More uh, Morning Wayne from Australia. Got the end of free pro after watching your videos. My fiance sends her thanks. Currently printing my nephew a Mr. Fusion money box. Well, uh, you know what? I've um, I I've been using my end of free today and the uh, FL Sun QQ. Um, I've had two failed prints on the FL Sun because of the way I've done supports, and you've just reminded me that I haven't checked on it today. I've been that busy. So um, I went to it because I left it running overnight about three days ago, and there's a great big ball of filament hanging from the, uh, from the nozzle, which wasn't good. So <laughs> I can't believe I'm 10 minutes behind on chat. I'm so sorry. I'm so, so sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm just a monkey. I'm just a... Um, what do they call it? Squirrel. I'm a squirrel tonight. Monkey. I'm a squirrel tonight. <laughs> a squirrel watcher. Will you be scuttling the victory now? No, I will be doing the victory. I think I'm going to save the victory just for a little bit later on. I, I want to have the ET spaceship done by March, April time. So then I'll go back to doing the victory. And Bergdis just answered that question that I've only just got to. <laughs> Where am I going to put the second victory? No idea. No idea. I need to move house. I need to win a house. That's what I need to do. Uh, Roger. Hi, Wayne. I take it you like my COVID vaccination side effects picture. What What picture? I haven't picked up any emails or been on social media today. So have you sent it today, Roger? I've, I've been so busy today. I've missed loads. So I'm going to have to catch up after the stream and see where we get to. I mean, I'm so much in a tiver, I haven't even looked at the instructions for this. I know I've done it once before, but, uh, well, hopefully it's going to be easy to build. Looks quite difficult, actually. <laughs> so I'll be, I'll be slow when we're doing this one tonight, I think. Uh, yes, Gregory, like I said, I will be doing that. Um, where'd the Rams banner go? Uh, Gregory, it's downstairs at the moment. I was wearing it <laughs> when the Rams were playing on Saturday. <laughs> uh, Gary, I think I need something stronger. You get Esther to get you a chocolate milk. Uh, I normally just eat chocolate. There's a big Toblerone in the fridge. I should have had a beer tonight, shouldn't I? So uh, we'll have to see. Oh, Nathan, I didn't, I didn't see that. Sorry, Nathan. Thank you so much for the uh, contribution to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh... I told a friend of mine I was doing the Eleanor build and showed him the picture and he told me that he subscribed to the Back to the Future car and had has all issues and not got around to build it yet. That's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I believe Mark, Mark Tadgel, I think he said he had four four complete magazine sets of the R2-D2 that he hasn't built yet. Is that right, Mark? If you're seeing this on catch-up, you'll have to you'll have to ask answer me. Loving the ET build. Well, that's what I'm putting most of my... When I'm going to bed at night, I'm thinking about it, Graham. And when I'm waking up in the morning, I'm thinking about it. And I just want to get this light ring right. Because the whole ship is going to be around the electrics. And if I can make a central hub for that electrics, which I'm doing at the moment, then I'm, uh, 
I'm sure the ship's going to come along lovely. So, but Lou, if you're watching this, I've uh, I've thoroughly watched your channels again and again and again and again and again. So, uh, I'm uh, I, I can see some of the challenges I've got. You're right, what you said in my email I, that the top section of my ET is completely solid. That's gonna uh, that's gonna be a big old job to drill all of that out. But uh, something that I wasn't sure of though, Lou, if you if you are still watching this, is uh, the dome, the dome section with all your windows. How did you light the dome? Is that just one light source in the dome? that's lighting all those windows up or have you got optics going to each individual window as well i don't think i saw that but then again i might have been chatting when that was on uh hello mike hello from ireland happy new year to you uh keep up the good work like watching your build video stay safe everyone thank you mike um j2071 hi wayne if your deliveries are coming from royal mail it'd be delay as they're de delivering the vaccine I made it their main priority. They're trusting the Royal Mail to deliver vaccines. They may as well give it to Yodel. <laughs> Hello, Chloe. How's it going? I'm sure Esther said that as well later on. Uh, just did 91 build of the Bismarck. Luckily, I just watched the build on number nine where you tested it. Mine worked, thank God. Only problem, the ladder's cat, so little space. Well, um, Paul, mine works. Mine works absolutely fine. The, what it was, it wasn't the PowerPoint at all. The motor had only been soldered in one side. So while I had the solder in iron, I soldered the other side, plugged the power in, works absolutely fine, no problems at all. But it won't work with any of the control boards. So you try and figure that one out. So the motor works when there's power to it, but the control boards don't, I, I'm guessing they're not sending enough power to it. Because the control boards work with all the other motors because uh, I tested one today, actually, because uh, you have to do that in issues one to eight of the Bismarck. So uh, there you go. Angel, you're in Norfolk. We're in Norfolk quite a lot, Angel. So uh, around the Fakenham area. Fakenham, Cromer, Norwich, that sort of area. Sometimes up to Yarmouth. Actually, we're all over the place, really. Beanie's Hobbies is over in Norfolk as well, if you follow his channel. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to get started on the... Uh, on the Iron Man build. Now listen, if I've missed your chat, I promise, one central light source. Thank you, Lou. I thought that was the case. That's uh, That makes sense. So I'm gonna have to try and make sure there's no light bleed, which is what I was thinking. So, oh, that's just made more work thinking of how I'm gonna do that. A cylinder with a length of lead tape wrapped around it. I saw that, I saw that bit. So, uh, all good. Right, I'm going to start with the Iron Man build, then I'll get back to the chat. So listen, if I I've, if I've, if I've didn't see your chat, I apologise. We will get that to that afterwards. Now, when I'm doing these builds, I don't really get to see the chat. So uh, Ian's in here. I don't think Sphere's tonight. And obviously, Mrs. World Wayne, so they'll probably try and answer your questions. Uh, I don't know how long this is going to build tonight, but we will see. So I'm going to switch the camera over, and we'll get this built. Now, tonight, as I said, we're doing pack two, which looks like this. And... Uh, just show you the magazine uh, basically I don't like the way these pictures are they're either too small or I don't know they just seem a little bit fiddly and small to me so I think I mentioned that in the trial as well but uh, looking just like this so at the end of it we've got a boot which lights up at the bottom it'll have a switch on the top which will make that light up um, One is used for the LED in the left foot. Others will be used in the right hand and the arc reactor. Okay, so it is one battery for each one. I went and shoved two in the helmet last time, but I prefer it. Look, this is the helmet that we did last time. And you turn the, uh, not that side. <laughs> you turn the switch here. And as you can see, his eyes come on. That's with two batteries. I think one wouldn't make it light up that much. But, uh, oh, well, we'll have to see. So that's what we're going to be doing. So what do we need? Let's have a look. Uh, stand by. I've got nothing ready here. So I'm just trying to figure out what's what. Insert the ankle joint 2M. Right, so I need the ankle joint. Looks like that. And we also need the top of the boot section, which looks like that, surely. Yes. Okay. 
so that's going to be going in like that I'm guessing okay so the first thing we need is the boot looking just like this and the ankle joint looking just like this now I'm just seeing which way they want the ankle joint to go in by the look of it uh, it's gonna go in this way is that right that doesn't look right that's no, the other way I just want to make sure I've got it around the right way let's try that again it's going to go in this way but i need to know which side's got the large hole on or the small hole on not sure of that let me have another look <laughs> uh they're not really helping me with the pictures you see so the larger diameter to hole circled in the round photo above which it isn't but there you go in the anchor should face the inside of the foot right <laughs> oh my god right uh okay i've got it i think <laughs> i've got to look at this again this doesn't make any sense to me at all the larger side is going to be facing inward so Is that right? You just know I'm going to be putting this in the wrong way. They seem to have it in this way round. So I'm going to follow that. So that the larger side is facing me as I put it in. These pictures are terrible. Okay. Uh, fit the ankle joint cover 2L in place with four EM screws. So we need the cover for that, which looks just like this. Oh, get it out here. And that's just going to go over the top holding this in just like that we need four screws there they're going into metal they're em screws where's me em screws that's am there we go em screws i'm gonna drop some oil into this because uh i don't trust the paint in here i think there's going to be some paint in those threads so this is just a three in one oil so keep that lined up and we'll put four of these screws in that's the first one uh, roll it around so I think I've actually just put that in a little bit too tight nope that's okay there's the second one two more I've actually built this before in the trial so uh, I can't believe I don't remember things <laughs> three and the last one loading it up here I'm having one of them nights today and I <laughs> and there we go that's number four so the cover's in place just like that and that enables this to move to the left and to the right right we need the led assembly now which has basically got a bulb uh looks like a, a push switch here and the compartment for the batteries or the battery just there as well and the first thing we need to do is push the switch just onto the little hole that we can see at the top of the boot there so i line that up and get that one in see if it goes in a specific way it goes in with the wires facing towards the inside of the boot so that's in just like that And we need to keep that in place with an AM screw. How does that work? Oh, no. And then we also need to put the battery box in. So I'm going to hold that with my finger. And the battery box is just going to go into the space that we can see just behind it here. 
it's going to be held in with an AM screw. So I'll line that up. Just like that. I've got an AM screw here. Again, going into metal, I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. And way, hey, screw that in. Ah. <laughs> I keep falling off the end of my screwdriver. There we go. And that's the battery box in, which allows me, as I said, we've got the switch on the top there, we've got the battery box just there. Okay. Uh, Do, 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 do. Okay, so we can put all of that to one side now. We haven't had anything to do with that lamp yet, but that's probably what's coming next. We're going to take the uh, bottom of the boot, looking just like that, and we've got a screen to put in here. Basically, this is the diffusing screen here. That's just going to go into the circular area that you can see just there. So I put in just like that we're going to hold that into place just with this uh, lamp holder here that's just going to go over the top just like that and going to be held in with am screws which i've already got here so that's handy put some oil in there it's very weird this build that we're doing a lot of the iconic things now I'm just wondering what's going to be in store for the rest of the build. Is it going to be all building arms and body? Because the arc reactor is number four and number three is the um, a hand. So that should look like that. We're then going to take the bulb that's coming off of this control board here. And that's just going to go into the top of that section we just put in. Pushing that in all the way. And then we're going to be marrying these two together just making sure i put this in the right way so that's gonna go in kind of i don't want to trap any wires over any section here but that's going to go in just like that so it's nice and flat it's looking like a boot now isn't it we're going to hold that in place with two am screws that's why they've sent me so many AM screws here so one at the back that's not going in why is that not going in oh I say that it was going in <laughs> there we go and one just at the front here bit of oil and we put that one in just there And there we go, that's the uh, boot looking like that at the moment. Du, 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 du. Right, then we've got a toe joint to put in. Now that is going to be going into these holes that we can see either side here and here. It's going to be going on kind of like that. Uh, but we do need a washer. And hold them in place as you slide the toe cap over them. Do this on the flat so the toe cap clicks into place. So that's going to click into place, is it? All right, okay. So these go on here. One's going to be on the other side here. And then we're going to slide this into place is that right that doesn't that can't be right till it clicks into place ah right that was right <laughs> so now that's clicked into place looking like that that was interesting i really thought we needed some uh they're showing some oh wait a minute some things in this picture here which i've just found which are just going to go onto the outside of these i'm guessing 
they're just these little silver covers here and they're just going to push in one that side and we're going to put in one the other side as well that's quite a novel way of fixing that in i have to say for the front this is getting really heavy now just so you know as well very interesting um I'm trying to think what's the next thing to do because these pictures are not helping <laughs> all right we needed to put a screw in there a cm screw right so let's take these things back out again can i get them out is the question we're going to be putting a cm screw just in there i should have looked at the chat shouldn't i <laughs> so put the first one in I bet you're screaming at me when I make those mistakes, aren't you? This is why you watch the Tuesday live builds, because you just know I'm going to cock something up. It's the nerves. I'm blaming my nerves. Now, I've got to make sure that this is centred, which is going to be quite hard now, actually, I reckon. There we go. Just uh, making sure that one's gone in okay, which it has. I'm going to straighten that screw up, though. I'm not happy with that screw. I am now. So that's one side in, and we'll put the cap back in. I don't know why I don't remember doing this the first time round. The other CM screw in here. There's only three more bits left to put in this. So it's almost finished. Here's the second one. That's going in a lot better. So that's not falling out. And then once again, we'll put the cap on that. So there we go. That's definitely not falling out that side and that side there. Uh, now we're going to be putting the sole in place just at the bottom here. I'm just worried about that switch there. Oh no, it does hold itself in. I couldn't think what's actually holding that switch in place, but this is the sole that we're gonna be putting on. The sole of the build, just there. We're gonna be holding that in with two screws here. Once again, these are AM screws. Bit of oil, I've used a lot of oil on this one. We'll get this one screwed in. That's the first one in. And put the second one in. Just like that. Nice and tight. There we go, that's going nowhere. It's looking very boot-like, isn't it? Uh, two more sections left to put in. We're gonna be putting the uh, battery in now. Now, I'm gonna look at chat. See you later, Bexac. Can someone remind me what side goes towards the spring of the battery? Is it the the large flat area that goes towards the spring? I think someone said that. I'm going to try that. I think it is the large the large side goes towards the battery, but we'll soon find out when the light. Oh yeah, it does. That's cool. I will show you it lit in a minute. <laughs> I'm just going to put the uh, cover in for the battery that looks like that. That just goes in like this here. And we're going to hold that in with a screw. Uh, and that is an EP screw. They do give us spares for each of these screws. So I've got two of them. I only need one. So that's just going to go in here like that. All the way down. And then, as you see, this last piece here has got a magnet on it. So it's just going to fit over this section in to hold itself in. And that is the completed boot looking like that. Now, if you want to see it light, what you do is you press the button here. As you can see, the bottom lights up, which looks pretty awesome, doesn't it? <laughs> and then you can put this back on and uh, think about the weight of this again, times this by two hands, two feet, the legs, the head. It's gonna be a heavy old thing, this is. But that is issue two of the Iron Man complete. I'll turn that off. <laughs>
there we go we got there in the end didn't we that was uh that was fun <laughs> it's the flat side thank you lou i got it right first time someone did tell me but i can't remember who always the flat side i will remember that now that's never going to leave my mind but uh i can't believe i did manage to get two batteries in the in the uh in the helmet i'm gonna you know what we're gonna do this now why we got it here so as i showed you before that is the lights with two batteries in it okay let's uh let's take one of those batteries out because i'm not meant to be using two batteries in there and i want to see how bright it actually is without that battery because that doesn't make sense to me at all uh leave me tweezers just to open this up I'll take as you can see look look in there look I've put two batteries in there so let's take one of those batteries out which is going to be harder than you it seems oh come on <laughs> it's coming there we go that's one of the batteries out make sure it still turns on yeah I'm gonna secure that down again and then we'll look at the eyes again now i think it looks better with two batteries but you be the judge of that i'm just going to put the screw back on this battery cover otherwise i'm going to lose it there we go put the helmet back on okay you ready this is what it looks like with one battery that's it it looks uh it's quite mm. I suppose when it's dark it'll look all right but it's very uh well what do you reckon <laughs> how big is the foot the foot is i've got me uh measurement here it's exactly 13 centimeters long by about i don't know uh about five centimeters wide does that help you put two in john yeah i think two it needs two definitely I'll probably put that battery back in. I have got spares of these, but I've got, I don't know if your workshops are the same as mine, but I kept my drawers here absolutely clean. Six months later, they're all a mess. It's like coat hangers, you know? You put a coat hanger in a cupboard and six months later, they've all bred and tangled up with other coat hangers. But I need to sort out the drawers in here and I, I haven't got much space to store stuff anyway. So you'd think I'd keep my drawers tidy, but uh, yeah, they're in, a, they're in a right mess. That low power mode yeah it needs two batteries two two's better definitely two's the magic number i will put that battery back in afterwards so uh they don't they don't tell you you'd think they'd tell you in the instructions i was trying to ram free in there believe it or not <laughs> you can't you can't you can't fault that can you imagine what free batteries would do wow i'm sure it's resisted up anyway i've been playing with resistors today actually um if any of you are watching the patreon stream um the, we do tomorrow just so you know um tomorrow we're going to be playing with the arduino yes i've got an arduino back so uh i'm still working on these et lights so i thought we'll uh we'll play with some arduino programs and uh get some leds lighting and throbbing that's the wrong word throbbing I was fading in and out <laughs> uh, my use of english tonight is terrible i, I apologize for my uh, gutter mind that i've got at the moment just checked your trial iron man vid and you did build the foot the same way snapping the toe on and screwing it down yeah that's cool then wait it was two batteries in the head for the trial a single one for each of the others well why why have they only gave us four batteries gary they gave us one battery for each thing one for the one for the helmet one for the hand one for the foot and one for the arc reactor so i don't know i'm gonna put the other battery in anyway and once i've gone through these drawers i'll figure out where my other batteries is just so you know if anyone wants to do extra batteries it's cr1025 batteries these are what they send you um i think when i got issue one of the trial there was no batteries in it so i ordered a load anyway and then they all turned up with issue two so uh there you go pulsing that's what i meant pulsing mitch not throbbing <laughs> oh how embarrassing you managed on the test build i did didn't i john perhaps it's my age you know the test build was about a year ago wasn't it just over a year ago so yeah it's my age the older i get the more i struggle with these things uh gary shepherd look I, I need to highlight some of this chat i'm not doing it loving your builds Wayne. can only dream of this stuff in south africa i don't know what you get out there gary to be honest with you 
Um, Jason Harrop, where are the screwdrivers from that you use on your builds? I get them from Amazon. They're Wearer screwdrivers, W-E-R-A, and they're P-H-O screwdrivers. Now, I've been using them for as long as I've been doing builds, and I've only gone for about three sets, so they're quite, they're quite good. Uh, Gary Whitford's got a message for Lou there. Any chance you'll be to end up selling uh, interior kits for the Polar Lights Galileo? Ooh. Uh, they were 1.5 in the trial run, and these are 3 volt, but better with 2 in each. It, it, what, even the foot Craig? I wasn't aware of that. Oh, perhaps I will order some new batteries then. Uh, and John, you put two in the arc reactor as well. I can't remember. I'm, I'm just trying to think what happened to my arc reactor. All of the Iron Man stuff for the trial, I gave away in anticipation that these would be coming. So uh, I can't remember for the life of me who I gave them to. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Would you do better on rum? Perhaps it, rum focuses me, Pete, Peter. That's what I reckon. Uh, yeah, definitely. It focused me. Uh, Alex Builds, you would need six sets of batteries, two hands, two feet, one head and the arc reactor. I'm sure they may supply more batteries later during the build. Well, you say that, Alex, but it does clearly say <coughs> um, somewhere when I was putting the batteries in about the uh, how many you get. Three CR1025 batteries are included with this issue. One is used for the LED to the left foot. The others will be used in the right hand and the arc reactor. So it's one for each, you see. But in the first magazine, they didn't even tell you how many batteries to put in it. It's strange. But don't forget, I haven't seen past issue four of this. So if you look on this on the channel tomorrow, you'll see a nice edited version of the video, I guarantee. But um, I've already got issue three and four in the playlist, even though they were the trial from last year. Uh. <laughs> My brother. I will take your second Bismarck. Michael, you're welcome to it if you can pay for the shipping to Canada or Australia, wherever you're going to be at the time. Bear it in mind, it's 1.25 metres long. It's cheaper to send a surfboard, Michael. <laughs> Perhaps a cello. You could send a cello cheaper. Uh, uh, yeah, Michael, I know you won the Iron Man head, but this was the one that I built myself. So, because um, I delivered yours, didn't I? Around uh, Stansted Way. I remember you. I, I actually delivered, I had three that I gave. No, you don't. Mike Bradley, you're Manchester. <sighs> you're Manchester. Yes, you're up in Manchester way. <laughs> oh. Yeah, perhaps my mind is failing me. So I've, um, I don't know who I gave them to. I haven't got a clue. Uh, hi, Wayne, when can we ne expect the next Tash at Bismarck? Stephen, I'm, I'm on stage 92, which means I'm doing the, um, the engine room. So I want to paint everything before I put it together. Because when I do it on stream, if I just put it together, it means I'm going to have to paint it while it's complete, if that makes sense. Which is going to be a pain in the neck to get around everything. So uh, I'd rather not do that. I'd rather have it painted and then put it together. Uh, I'll be tempted if I had a single power source. Not keen on all the separate battery business. Looks good though. A lot of people said that, Robert. That they're surprised this hasn't got one. But didn't the Hot Toys version of the Iron Man have different switches for each of the lights and stuff? I'm sure. Uh, Craig's got two in the boot, and it beams if you had it away from workbench when facing down. I ordered spares at two dollars, two pounds, sorry, for ten for ten. Wow, that's pretty cool. I've been ordering loads of these. Uh, where are they? These bulbs. This is what I've been using on the ET build. These are pre-resistive for you and pre-wired, looking just like that. These are five mil LEDs. I think these ones are, these are white. I've ordered some more white. If you remember the ring, when, when you saw the ring on social media, I had white and yellow lights. I've scrubbed that idea. I got rid of all the yellow lights and replaced them with white because I will do what Lou's done and I'll put a filter around there. Looks a lot better. So, uh, but there you go. Uh, oh, is it that time of day? Ian, when Ian says he's going, it normally means uh, it's that time when... Uh, we, we have to knock off. But uh, as I said, tomorrow I'm going to be live streaming for patrons, having a muck around with the uh, Arduino. And then we're going to do a normal general chat that we do on Thursday. Uh, tomorrow, as I said, we'll have the edited version of this video. And then hopefully, hopefully, in the evening, we might be able to release uh, the 
ish pack 12 of the super snake if not wednesday it'll definitely probably be up on thursday but uh thank you for joining me tonight and uh it's nice having the pleasure of your company and i will see you uh on wednesday take care